Hey kids, welcome back to your Facebook Graph API tutorial. Um, as of now, we have a site that reads some data from Facebook and from some albums, and we want to learn how to publish content to those albums. So there's actually two ways you're allowed to do this. You're allowed to publish uh, a photo from a link on the internet, and you're also allowed to publish a photo that a user uploads locally uh, from their computer. Um, the problem is to handle the local version, you really just never do this in JavaScript. Is there a way? Yes, but teaching you would kind of be a waste because you really just need to use PHP. And we're going to stay away from that uh, for now if you want to learn how to uh, upload things to Facebook. Um, if it was your own server, it's a different story, but Facebook's rules are different. Uploading a URL, though, uh, is, a, is very simple uh, and is certainly in our wheelhouse and kind of gets the job done for us anyway. So we're going to do that, uh, and it'll be fine. So the first thing we have to do is we have to create an input form. Um, I'm just going to have a very simple one that's ugly and right in the middle of my page. Uh, you guys should style it according to how you'd like, but it's pretty simple to do. You do input type text ID equals URL or photo URL. And then we have a button that has an ID of submit button and it's got some inner HTML that says submit and you should probably do a bootstrap button group for this um, you know style it appropriately I'm not going to tell you how to style it you guys know that by now you know how to look up bootstrap components so use those they're good please do no ugly buttons um, but for now um, we will have this button and we'll go to our drive and we will upload the index file and see how it looks. Whoops, oh, I have to. Oh man. Hmm. Desktop, social media projects, index. Okay, there we go. And we hit upload, and sure enough, there's the box submit. And we can have a placeholder like, you know, placeholder equals photo URL. Sure, whatever. It's all good, whatever you want to do. Uh, you decide how this should look on your page. All right, that's good. Now the fun part. We have to figure out how Facebook wants us to handle this request. Um, so we want to go to the Graph API reference, and I'm actually in uh, the album reference, so we know how to get to an album already, believe it or not. We're doing it here, slash Mm, alphabet soup. This is the ID for an album. Remember how we did this last time? We got some pictures out of the album. So we still need that, which is good. Um, but we also need to go even further to the photos uh, edge. Or, yeah, yeah. So we have to do album ID slash photos. And if we want to publish to photos, there's capture a photo via file upload. We're not going to do that use a photo that's already on the internet, we are going to do that. And you do this by saying album ID slash photos, that's the URL request. It's a post request. And in the post you include this object that has a URL colon image URL. Um, that's where you put the URL for the image. And that's it. That's actually all you have to do. It's pretty straightforward. So let's find a picture. I am going to include, a, oh, this one. This is obviously the winner. Now we want to get the link to this. Um, copy image URL. That's what we want. Okay, And we're going to need to paste that into our text box. And we need to handle the submit function here, because right now if we hit submit, nothing's going to happen. So let's go to our JavaScript. We'll write a uh, handler. So it was called. Uh, photo or submit button, excuse me, so id submit button dot click function. That's how we do jQuery handlers. And in here, we want to submit the photo. So we'll say facebook.api. And we know that we need our ID number slash photos, and that's all for that. I'm going to separate this just like they do on their site. And again, the source code you can find on the Facebook developer site right here. Okay, so we're going to do just like they do it. 
comma. It's a post request, comma. We got curly brace. And inside the curly brace, we have URL, colon, the URL of the image. So to get that, we're going to have to get what's in the input form, which is pretty easy. We're just going to do, uh, we'll, we'll make a variable for that. We can just say uh, submit button dot val. Er, let's do this a lot easier. We'll just say document dot get element by ID submit button dot value. That's how you get it. And we'll set that equal to a variable. We'll say photo URL. And then in here, that's where that goes. Because okay, we want their, whatever they type in there, we want that to be what goes with the request. And then we need a handler function response. And we should probably console log the response. For now, we'll handle what we do with that later. But and that's it for now. No commas at the end. Semicolon. Good. All right. Now, of course, you probably guess this probably won't work without changing our scope of login here. Um, I don't. I think you need different publishing permissions. Yeah. So you need the publish actions permission. So we're going to need to change our scope as well for login to publish underscore actions. We do need to do that. And then that also means, of course, we'll have to relog the user into our page. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll upload the JavaScript. We'll go to our Facebook page. We'll go to our apps. Settings, apps. Get rid of this, remove that so they have to log in again. And now we'll reload our page. So let's hit our login button. We want to say all this is good, OK. We'd like to post to Facebook for you, that's good. We'll just keep it your friends for now, OK. Great. All right, here's our page. Now, theoretically, if we take the link to that picture we saw before, and we paste it into our page, and we hit Submit. I'm going to open up the console before we do that, though, just to see if anything's going wrong. And we hit Submit. Oh, looks like there's an error of some sort on line 109. Seems like the call went out effectively, but let's see what the error says. It requires upload file. Hmm. Photo URL. Uh, I don't think, I think we're fine. We have the right permissions, that's good. URL, image URL. This was the other one. This is the JavaScript SDK. Hmm. That shouldn't be what comes back. Pretty sure we did this just fine. URL colon photo. Let's log the. Let's make sure this is coming back. So we'll make sure that we're actually getting a URL out of our input box here. Maybe we're just not collecting it correctly. That should be fine. We'll try this again. Uh, yeah, see line 102 where we're logging that photo URL. We're not actually getting it. So how do we get the input? Uh, I don't know. Get value of text box. JavaScript. I don't know why this is so challenging for me. Correctly, document.get element by ID submit. Oh, submit button. Why didn't you guys tell me that while I was making this video before you saw it? Not smart. It's photo URL is the ID. Photo URL. Did I do it right? I did it right. Okay, let's upload that. And three times a charm. 
paste our link, submit. There's the URL, and surprise, surprise, back comes the ID of a picture, which should now be in our dog's album. If we go to our Facebook account, and we go to our album, photos, where are my photo albums? Dogs. So we're seeing here, this is a new feature of Facebook's where I have to actually manually approve the photo that was uploaded um, from another application. Um, that's because it's not a public app yet. So if you want the, to bypass this step, you'd have to submit it to Facebook and have them approve it, which we can show you how to do at the end of uh, the unit. But you know, certainly I can hit approve here, and there it is. There's our album. There's our photo. We don't have a description on this photo, though, so how would we go about doing that? Let's go back into the uh, developer reference here. Um, let's see if we can figure out how to add a description. Fields, URL, oh, there we go, message, okay? So you can actually include any of these fields with your picture. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do message. And that goes right here. You put a comma after the URL, you type message, and you could type anything you want here. Type your message here. If you had another text box, say you had a message box, you could say document.getElementById message box dot value and then include message text right here and that would upload it. Okay, there's a lot of options available to you and I hope that you explore whichever ones you'd like because you really can go nuts on this. Um, but sure enough, we now know that if you do indeed post your uh, URLs as such, your, your photos as URLs like this, and you've gotten your permissions from the login, and you've referenced your album ID correctly, slash photos. Uh, this will post to the albums on Facebook, which is now there for everybody to see. And uh, that's great. All right, so I'm going to delete this one that I just uploaded, and I'm just going to upload one with a message so I have it. Let's see, can I delete it? I must be able to. Edit delete the photo. Goodbye. Okay. Um, and let's just say, I'm not going to have, yeah. Why not? I'll include a message text thing. Sorry. Input type text placeholder type your caption here. ID equals message box. So there we go in our index is a field for the message text. Message box. There we go, everything looks good. Uh, we'll re-upload and we'll test it one last time to make sure everything works. Which, you know, of course it won't. Just my luck, but I think it'll actually be fine. I'm gonna copy the dog URL again and we'll upload. And let's see, paste the URL, type your caption. Please, please ignore this picture it's for a project. Don't unfriend me. Submit. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully we got an ID back. There is an object that came back. It's an ID. That's great. Let's go back here and see what happens to our dog's album. And there's a photo. And that photo has a caption. Magic. It's magic. Do you believe in magic in this doggy's eyes? It's got blue eyes and it looks like it's seen a ghost. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I couldn't uh, improv a better song for you. You guys deserve better. Anyway, you definitely don't deserve any more of this torture, so that's it for now. When we get back next time, we'll look at what to do with this when it comes back from Facebook so that you don't just hit the submit button on your page and it's like, oh, uh, we're not going to tell you anything about what happened. Obviously, the page should reload and other things should happen. I'm also going to clean this form up for next time and make it a little bit nicer and in a better spot. I didn't do that on video because you guys have a better idea of how you want that to look on your site than I do. But that's all for now. Until next time, happy coding!